There are so many people who don't know anything about Islam. They don't know what it means. And they have so many questions like, where did it come from? Is it something new? Well, Majid, what we should all know is that Islam is a universal religion which was prescribed by God for all of mankind. It was revealed 1400 years ago in the land of Arabia, the very land where we're sitting now enjoying this campfire with this uh, coffee that we have here. It came and was centered around a profound message. Uh, but this message is not something new. Islam is a relatively young religion compared to other religions, but the essence of its teachings is a continuation of a message which was propagated by the first man that set foot on this earth, Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. And this message continued on with all the other prophets, Prophet Noah, Prophet Moses, Prophet Jesus, and then in the end, the final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And the message was a plain and simple one. Worship God one in his oneness, alone, and not to associate any partners with him. Yes, Islam is not named after prophet or saint. Instead, it's a name which was chosen by God Almighty. Linguistically, it has a deep set of meanings encompassed into one word. These meanings include submission, surrender, obedience, sincerity and peace. Islam is not just a belief system based on academic learning. In fact, it's so much more than that. It's a comprehensive and practical religion providing a complete way of life. And also from a spiritual perspective, Islam helps us to understand who we are, why we are here, and what our purpose is. Islam also teaches us and helps us to understand and helps us to prepare for what will happen to us when we die. Islam, when it was first revealed, it was literally a liberation for the people against oppression. The oppression of the rulers and their beliefs that they imposed on the people. I mean, here the message was clear. It was fighting racism. It was fighting injustice towards women. It was giving the rights to the orphans. It was dealing with equal, equal opportunities for everyone. As Muslims, we were all equal. Yeah, you can imagine the advent of Islam must have been a beautiful thing for the people. It promoted truth, justice, peace, love and equality. It's of no surprise then that the message of Islam spread so rapidly across the world. It reached the far reaches of Western China, across Northern Africa and into Southern Europe. It even reached uh, as far as uh, Portugal, your country, Anas. Uh, and you'll find up until this day, you have people coming from the rich, the poor, the young, the old, black, white, American, European, different social classes from different religions. People are coming into the religion in their thousands because it's a message for all of mankind. The teachings of Islam, they are as relevant today as they were 1,400 years ago. In fact, Islam has all of the answers and solutions to all of our contemporary problems. Take, for example, the oppressive nature of the modern banking system. Islam presents a healthy alternative with its economic, social welfare system, which provides a honest, fair and healthy model for the creation and distribution of wealth. It's such a shame that uh, Islam is not well known or so misunderstood today. I mean, the Islamic way of life, it's so pure and wholesome and has so much more to offer. Uh, and if we look at its divine teachings, uh, you'll find that they are a source of spiritual comfort, of morality and guidance. So guys, we must remember that God only guides those who want to be guided. So we must ask God sincerely to be guided. So He grants us with eternal happiness.